This is the ceiling mount that comes with your rustic chandelier. It has a plug already installed on it. Now, the other side is going to have the wires that connect to your existing receptacle. And obviously the black goes to the black, copper to the copper, and white to the white. These are wire nuts, insulated, that you just simply put the two white wires together and then we'll turn this and connect it. With your package, I'm giving you these decorative hooks or swag hooks that are going to be hanging from the ceiling so we can hang the ropes from it. I'm going to set it up like this and we have these that will go to butterfly wall anchors. If you're going directly into a stud, then you can use these lag screws, which would be even better and sturdier, and you go right through there. But for the most part, you won't be lucky enough to do that. So what we're going to do is you screw this bolt into the decorative swag hook, get it down there nice and tight. Then I have some pre-drilled holes here. Okay, we're going to push that through the hole. And then on the other side, what you'll do is you'll take this butterfly toggle. Okay, and there's a little nut on there. Now you're going to take and you turn this on there a little ways. Okay, not too much. Put it about that much because we're leaving room for the drywall, you see that's going to be in your ceiling. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a 5 8 inch hole into the ceiling and then this will be folded and pushed up into the ceiling. When it's pushed up the butterflies open up and we'll pull down on this and we'll tighten it up and this will hold to the ceiling as we tighten it and then we keep tightening and tightening and pull it down nice and firm. So that's the ceiling mount unit that comes with your wooden chandelier. Okay, so the first thing and the most important is I turned off the fuse at the breaker box. Turn on the light in you, where you're replacing it, make sure it doesn't go on so that you know it's off. Now, these wires aren't hot, so they're safe now because the breaker's off. I already put the butterflies into the ceiling mount and somebody had something up in this house here before hanging and we're going to use one of the existing holes. Now the other hole didn't line up exactly so what I did is I just took a sharp screwdriver and I put it through the hole and put a mark into the ceiling where I'm going to drill that. And like I said you got to use a 5 8 inch drill and this is very simple. Get the two wires together like that and then you put the wire nut on and you turn it clockwise so it's nice and tight on there and it doesn't come off you see you can even hang it down now take the black wire and we're going to hook that one up to the other black wire coming out of our ceiling mount receptacle that you got in from me Both of those are hooked up, and then you hook the ground up if you need it. This lamp does not have a ground on it though because it's lamp cord, and lamp cord doesn't have a ground, it's two wire. So in this case, I'm only going to hook the two black and white wires up. Now, if you can see that butterfly, I'm going to push it right up into that hole, and then it went in. Now I gotta make it catch. So it has to open up. I'm gonna push them both in. That one caught. And this one is not yet caught. You gotta wiggle it and turn it around a little and make sure it catches. Okay, it did catch. So we're slowly getting this pulled up to the ceiling 
if you do hit joist, you can go ahead and hit those, uh, use those included leg screws for a really strong fit. So this is going to be pretty firm. And now we're ready to hang the chandelier. This is one of our 36 inch pine models. It's five and a half inches wide, so it's a little narrower than the cedar. It doesn't come with barn pulleys unless you order them as extras, but it does come with these turnbuckles, which will allow us to level the chandelier to be perfectly level. All you have to do is, I'm gonna send it to you already level, but if your ceiling's a little off, you might have to fine tune it. So you come in now and you just hook it up onto the swags like that. Okay, and this is one of our cedar versions. It's a bigger one, 36 inches long still, but you can see it's a lot wider and more bulkier. Um, it does have the barn pulleys on it. These are handmade barn pulleys that I make, and they also help to keep it level in that direction. Now, if you see on the top, I've also got what's included in the kit, the turnbuckles. So you go ahead and you just hang these right on there. Really simple. You could always hang them right from the swag hooks if you wanted to. And then we're going to see if it's level. And it's a little bit off. So I'm going to adjust that. And it looks like I've got to go up on this part here. I'm looking at the level as I'm adjusting this. So you turn it back or forth like that. Now the last thing that we have to do is plug the unit in and then turn on the fuse and make sure everything works. So what I did when I made these is I wired this jute rope electrical wire. Okay, it looks like rope, but inside is lamp cord. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of wrap it around like this so that we can hide it. And you get it just how you want it. And then you take and you just plug it in right here. And that's it. Now I make these to be about 24 inches from the ceiling. If you've got a higher ceiling, you just tell me and we'll make these ropes longer for you. I have people tell me they have 18 foot ceilings and they want to come down 10 feet. No problem. We'll also include the uh, longer electrical cable too to accommodate for your ceilings. If you have a sloping ceiling, well you can do that too because the ropes will be adjusted for the different height on both sides. I went over and I flipped the fuse back on and now I'm going to turn on the light switch and everything works fantastic. Looks great with these Edison bulbs. You can experiment. If you want to be the safest and the most energy conscious, use the uh, LED type Edison bulbs.